Hi, this is Cheryl, and I wanted to share with you uh, a series of movements you can do with your shoulders, with your neck and your head. Um, this can be helpful uh, if you have persistent tension or soreness um, in your neck and shoulders. I just provide you with some some variations to find more freedom in movement. And so the first thing that's important to really uh, assess for yourself is where your chin is. So notice if your chin is just above your collarbones and we often have an orientation where we're a little bit forward. You know, we look down, we look at screens. So helpful to, to lift the back of your skull a little bit up it's just so you're sitting more more on top of your neck and um that that alone can affect quite a bit because as soon as your head's forward all of the the muscles on the back of you have to do additional work to hold your head off of the middle of your your spine and your neck so that habit alone i would say is if you take one thing away from this video it's the keeper um, but there are some really good variations you can do to explore your movement. So good to start just exploring what's possible in inside bending your head. And the, the other end of that movement is to lift your shoulders up towards each ear. And so this combination as alone, depending on where you're holding tension, can really help um, free up that area. But a few other movements for a more complete um, movement study can include lifting up your shoulder right up to your ear, but also behind your ear. You can see how there's a slightly different movement involved in front of your ear and to go through those movements, if possible, without doing a lot of tilting of your head that you're really trying to bring your shoulder up to your head. And so I noticed just in doing it, I, I get my head involved with a couple of those. And so you wanna try this on the other side as well. And then you can always go back and assess how is the ease of motion. You may not go farther, but it may be easier to side bend your head. And then helpful to turn your head and do a similar motion. So lifting your shoulder up to your ear, to the back of your ear, turning the other side. Um, turning towards the side that you're lifting. And on the other side. And again, these are just uh, variation options to help you introduce more movement, more freedom of movement in this area that often is quite uh, tight for many people. So hope you find this valuable. Have a great day.